Hello, uh, today I'm just going to show you a quick little set of functionality that we've developed for users of US SQL. Uh, this functionality is to help our users to extract information from websites using SQL. So this is a web scraper and it should allow you to use the syntax that you use for all the other functionality of the website um, to scrape and extract data from websites. So it's a three step process. I'll just quickly review and uh, then step into a quick little demo of what it would look like to do it for a for a website here. So first you obviously have to find your website and then figure out what you want to extract. After that, you can build your query for what, how you want the results to be returned. And then at the end, you can choose how you want to integrate it within your workflows. So that'll be the quick little demo we give here. So first let's do a demo of scraping Hacker News like we have here in the, uh, the web page. So. I'm going to navigate to the website here. And what I want to do is I'm going to extract the, the rank of the listing, um, the listing title, and then the link of the original page that's been added. So I'm going to open the developer tools here and figure out where I can pull some of this information. So taking a look here to see if there's anything of value they want to extract. And, the first thing I found here was the rank. So it looks like that's identified by the class rank here, and that's pretty easy. So I'll recall that when I'm building the query here. And the other item I was looking for was the, the text of the, the posting here. So I'm just going to quickly do a bit of a search here. All right, there it is. So it's under the class title line. So I could find uh, the title line and then what I'll do is I'll look for the, the link under that. And then I can do the same thing for the, uh, the link of, the, of the, the source or sorry, the target that we're looking for as well. So that's everything I really wanted. Uh, and I'm gonna hop into our sandbox for use SQL and I'll start building up that query. I'm going to close developer tools so we have more screen real estate here. Go to use SQL. Uh, head over to the sandbox. Just clear out the previous text here. And for demo purposes, I'm going to put the data table. I like that view. So let's start with the select. And then I'm going to add the first item I was looking for, which was the rank. And we'll just name that rank in the results. Before I add the extra stuff, I'm gonna quickly just add the website I wanna crawl. So we'll add Hacker News here. And Pray that this returns something for the demo here. And it did, we got the ranks there. This is what we wanted, yeah, 30 items. So that's about what there was on that first page. So the next thing I'll pull is that title. So that was identified by the class title line. And then I'm gonna look for links right under that and you can use this icon there for that. Otherwise, uh, jQuery has a reference that I, I link in the, the landing page that I open this page up to. So that's a place you could take a look at for different uh, selectors. But for the purposes of this demo, I'm just gonna go through this as if we know all of this information. So we'll do the same here because they're both under title line. And then it's, they're in the same element, but I'm going to grab that, uh, that target, that href. So that would be the website that we want to navigate to. So if everything shows up here, those three items, as expected, then we were able to build that query that we wanted to build here and extract the information we wanted to extract. So, yep, that correctly extracted. And then, yeah, in the cases where you want to start using other tools to integrate, a lot of times you'll just want to get some JSON response there and click submit. Oops, uh, there we go. 
and you can just steal that query there and use uh, curl, curl commands or even uh, Python requests to get this uh, JSON response here and start using it within your code or your, your, your website or wherever you want to pull this from. Uh, and then also if you go to our, our docs website, you can even start using our client libraries that we have here. We have a HTML templating library, including uh, JavaScript, JavaScript web client. If you want to use some, some abstraction there to get rid of some of the boiler that you'd be building, but yeah, works with plain SQL as well. So this is the navigate back to the original page that I started on just to review what we went through. So we, we found that website and we extracted the elements as planned. Uh, we built our query, and then here's the cheat sheet, cheat sheet location that I referenced earlier. I won't click on it right now, but you can navigate to this page here. Um, yep, you can also replicate the demo that I created by clicking on the, the link here. And then, yeah, the third step was integrating into our application, and I have a link to our docs that I, I referenced there, and uh, that should have you well on your way to start pulling data from websites. So that's it for me. And you'll see this page with this demo on it, probably right under this get started button, but who knows? So uh, yeah, enjoy the new feature that we've just added here and uh, let us know if there are any issues or if you're really happy with the product. So that's it for now. See ya.